Hey guys, this is Xbox Master, and I'm doing a review on this thing that I got for Christmas. Christmas, yay! And if you're wondering what that is, it is a remote control. And look, it's Halo! If you can see, this, wait, here, just a little bit on the side. This is a rocket turret warthog from Halo Reach, Halo 3. Um, I don't know about Halo 3, you guys can correct me on that, I don't care. Um, it, I got it for Christmas, it is a Lego, like I said, it's a warthog, and it comes with two guys. Over here, if you can see, that is a guy on a turret, he's blue and has a shoulder pad on the other side. These guys' legs and feet, they don't move. Well, he, he can, they can both come off and stuff, but... He has little things on the bottom of the seat, so he sticks onto the turret. Like you can say, look, you can just crash into that door. If you're wondering what that Italian ball is, yeah, Fourth of July is tomorrow. Woohoo! And we're going to have a pool party, yeah. And we're gonna bring that soccer ball to the pool. Um, like the he moves too, but his joints don't move like the re the regular Halo guys. One sec, one sec, one sec. Yeah, it is remote control. Okay, something was just on the floor. I had to get rid of it. Um, and I'm gonna be teaching the pros and cons of this amazing Halo vehicle. Whee! I was watching this video the other day about a real. I was watching a whole bunch of um, Halo videos the other day about real Halo stuff. And I'm gonna be doing the pros first, is that the brakes are amazing. And third, like, no, like, oh my God, there are brakes. Oh my God, like, oh my God, like, oh my God. What, like, I know, I keep saying, oh my God. Um, like, like, oh my God, there's like a button for the brakes. Like, no, you just, here, I'll show you the controller. There's, Look at the wheels, right, left, back and forth, right, left, back and forth. Just put them together to make them do stuff. It's really quite simple. And you can tell that the thing is working because the, the little red light should be flashing. Um, uh, now I'm going to do a con. The con, a con is that if you don't use like in like sometimes you know how those things work on like half used batteries and new batteries always use new batteries because like it works better because i'm like oh my god no it's broken and then like um i just replaced the batteries like two seconds ago I'm like i should do a review on this this is my first review Ooh, you can see a thing that is the car. Um. So like, I really want. I'm gonna start doing a whole bunch of reviews. Like, I did a review on this. Like, it's not on YouTube, but I, cause like, it was really bad. I did a review on this game called Toss the Turtle on Antcon.com. Territorial War and this awesome PC game called Raise Two. It is online multiplayer, but like you don't like chat with people. It's kind of like Call of Duty, but it's third person and stuff, and you get a whole bunch of weapons, like sci-fi and stuff. But this is really cool. This car, and here's a con. Wait, I don't know if I said this already, but it is too fast. It is like really, really fast. Like. Like, you have to be good on the brakes, cause like, when I first got it, I was, I was kept crashing, so like, and I am, I've been practicing some stunts for this. Oh, I can never get this right. Oh, yeah, come over here, Warthog. No, 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 wait, wait, okay. No, this is really hard. 
Cause like I'm doing this backwards. And then <laughs> there's a commercial about it. Okay. Um, and then just, just, just. Okay. C come on up. Okay, I'm just gonna get really close to me. Okay. As you can see here, there is a passenger seat. It did not come with the third person, but you can put a person in there. And you can do really cool stunts, but I forgot to make ramps and stuff because I've done them at my friend's house. Derp. Because he has a set that comes with a ramp. And I'm like, oh, come on. It's like two, like, at least 50 cents extra to buy the ramp. And plus, I got this, like, free shipping and stuff like that. And so, like, I'm like, come on. You pay 50 cents for shipping and stuff. And remember to like, favorite, and subscribe. I, I really like doing this video. And buy this. It's really cool. Like, you can make like a really awesome video, like you set up like one point is like stop motion and stuff, and then you just have the real camera like done, 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 and then you just see it's like a comedy and stuff, and then you just go, you just see them going like retreat, <laughs> and then you see like a whole bunch of covenant. I do have a Lego banshee, and I'm going to go get it. Just stare at my warthog. And then, Okay guys, I'm back, and I actually brought a couple Lego Halo products and something really cool that I just got today. Like I said, this is my Banshee. It opens up. I actually have a Halo guy in there, because like, the Elites that I get, I have a red one and two blue ones, but I'm like, hey, what the heck, I have a Halo guy. And I'm usually humans in Firefight and go Shh. It does have those on the bottom so you don't have to hold it from the top because look what happens when you hold it from the top. Yeah, so you can hold it from like these little clear blocks at the bottom. And for when like you want to display it like that, it's really cool. It has bullet holes and everything. Those are the, um, the stickers and stuff. It has these exclusive p um, pieces in it. You have those on the end with really nice detail. Took me about five minutes. No, literally, it took me. Okay, okay serious time. It took me at least a half an hour to build this. Um, I also have. I didn't get um a character like a Halo character to go in it, but I have what I have with me. I have a drop pod or whatever those things are called. I have a pod. And it opens up. It comes with a guy, but he's up in my bedroom because I have a whole bunch of Legos all over my shelf. Um, here's what it looks like on the inside. We have a jetpack right there. Usually a sniper would be here. And then on the inside would be an assault rifle. And then he would be like right here because this is like a chair and stuff. And here's how it looks like when you're putting it together. First you put in that, then you push in that. And then you put it on the top piece. I'm like, oh my god, it's a drop on. I have to get it. Next, next vehicle I have. Oh, like I said, I have two elites. I mean, three elites. And I have a whole bunch of grunts. So this is one of my elites on a ghost. The elite. Oh, I have to fix that later. It's really cool. It's like one of those things that you can get. And this is my new favorite vehicle in Firefight. Because if you go to Beachfront. What? Hi. My brother's a weirdo. I'm making a video. Um, Like I said, I have a grunt. I have a plasma pistol somewhere, but I don't feel like going to get it. And this, um, 
You know, like those little bags of Legos and stuff you get out characters? Well, today, I've always wanted this guy, and I got so lucky. I just had to feel the bag. I'm like, yep, this is the one. And I got a Juggernaut. I got a Lego Juggernaut. He's two-headed. Um, I have a lot more of these, but they're upstairs. Um, he's two heads. Um, bionic eye thing. And this is supposed to be like when he has um, a screen over his face. Because, you know, he has a helmet. And like always in Modern Warfare 3, like the juggernauts. Like say like you get a juggernaut suit in multiplayer. You know how they have like the USP and stuff. Like the, um, the black thing with the three green dots. That's a USP. Point forty five. That's his USP. It's supposed to be like a NASA program, but like, oh my god, it's a juggernaut. And I thought it was really cool. He has like a jetpack thing. Um, just wanted to share that with you guys. So, remember to like, favorite, and subscribe. Bye.